I'm a man, and men love everything quantifiable, so here are my top 10 multi-camera sitcoms of the 90s. To be clear, these are all sitcoms that started in the 90s. Number 10 is Home Improvement. Uh? Look at them, so happy. Well then. I love this show. It showed the world that men are stupid, and that women need us to be stupid, otherwise you'd have nothing to do. Number 9, Third Rock from the Sun. I think this is the best comedy show about aliens ever. Cast is amazing. We got a young Jordan, uh, Joseph Gordon, George, Levitt, Jordan, Joseph Gordon Levitt. Anyway, John and Lifkow, that's all, that's all you need. Number eight is Step by Step. Step by Step, day by day. By day. The original Cheaper by the Dozen. I had a crush on Alex. Like, come on, who doesn't like Sasha? <laughs> and he was in Kickboxer 192. Number seven, Frasier. This is one of the shows that I didn't expect to like as much as I did, but I watched all the episodes. Kelsey Grammer is hilarious, and David Hyde Pierce, the two of them, oh, beautiful. His bow-legged dad, oh, the show was funny. And it didn't make me feel bad for being stupid, so thumbs up. Number six, the Waynes Brothers. They're brothers. Like, this show is just straight funny. Sean and Marlon are both great actors and hilarious. But you put John Witherspoon in there, it's, it's a wrap. Man's got the most infamous belt in TV. What y'all doing in here, hmm? I'll tell you what you're about to do. You're about to get your ass whooping. Number five, News Radio. Look, Joe got hair. This cast is straight legendary. Andy Dick was hilarious and crazy. Make sure he ain't here. Sometimes just pop up. Dave Foley killed it. Phil Hartman. Ah! This show was laugh out loud funny, for real. Number four, Boy Meets World. Topanga. This show changed the game. For a lot of us, it was our first Google search. What is Topanga and why is she so fine? Like, the characters were real. Sean had an abusive dad. Eric was stupid. I didn't like that Corey stayed a virgin for so long, but you know, you gotta give something up. Even though Topanga didn't. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Mr. Phoenix say some shit to have you apologizing to your mom in real life. Mr. Matthews, I think you're better than that. Number three, that 70s show. Look at this cast, though. This whole cast stayed relevant. Some in not, not great ways, but still. Red and Kitty are TV royalty. I legit still fall asleep to this show sometimes. <laughs> And come on, hot Donna. Number two, Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. I mean, this show is just almost good from top to bottom. It created a dance that everybody know, a handshake that everybody know, and made every dude without a daddy cry. How come he don't want me, man? Before we get to number one, please follow me on YouTube and Instagram. Come to my show in Jacksonville, Florida, May 11th. Number one, come on, y'all already know. My aunt, my aunt. This is one of the best shows of all time. It changed not just sitcoms for black people, but like how sitcoms were done, period. Because it was never a black show. It was just a show with black people in it. It was deep. It was ridiculous. It was character driven. All of the characters Martin Lawrence played were legendary. Oh my goodness. Don't you know no good? I said Jerome in the high. I said Jerome in the high. Uh, 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 in your mind. And Tommy know damn well you ain't got no job. 